Okay, let's talk about percent. And when it comes to practical math, probably nothing's more important than your ability to solve a variety of percent problems. Again, percent problems come in all sorts of different flavors. Probably uh, most of you out there could solve something like this. If I said, what's 6% of 35? Well, a lot of you would be like, oh yeah, you just change this to a decimal. That would be 0 0.06 and you multiply by 35 and you would be correct. So if you understand that, that's very good. But in this particular problem, it might seem a little bit confusing, but again, this is a type of problem that you're going to want to be able to solve. But let's go ahead and read the problem. It says, what percent of 80 is 3? Now, this could be a little bit confusing for some of you, but if you just kind of quickly read this, you might be confused. But, you know, if you stop and pause and really think about this for a second, hopefully you'll understand what to do. And if you think you can get the right answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you exactly what to do here in a second. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in mathematics, but what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. It will help you out big time. Also, if you're preparing for any sort of test with a dedicated math section, there's a ton of them out there, and a lot of you are gonna be taking them, any sort of entrance exam, placement exam, certification exam, things like the SAT, ACT, ASVAB, uh, GED, teacher certification exam. Uh, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school math courses for homeschoolers that might interest you. Hopefully you have your own great, awesome math notes. If you don't, start working on that. That's going to help you out big time. But I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the answer right now and uh, feel free to use a calculator to figure this out. But what you don't want uh, to do is just guess. Okay, so, but if you're confident in your answer, well, let me go ahead and show you it right now. Okay, so what percent of 80 is three? It is 3.75%. So 3.75% uh, of 80 is three. This is the correct answer, and if you got that right, I must give you a nice little happy face with an A plus 100% and a few stars because, you know, that's pretty awesome. You passed your little math pop quiz for today. Very, very good. Now, again, how you did this, uh, the way you understand, the way you were taught percent, as long as you're confident and you're like we're in full control of this problem, that's what counts. But I'm going to go ahead and talk about how I would teach this or how I'm going to teach this to you right now if you are confused. Okay, so what percent of 80 is 3? Now, conceptually, um, when we think of percent, you're always going to want to think of like a part out of a whole. That's a good kind of model to think about what percent is, right? If I'm saying, well, 75 percent of, if this was your test grade, right, you got 75 percent, you got part of uh, the questions right out of a total of let's say what 100 percent so percent um, uh, by definition is some sort of part out of 100 okay but what you really want to be thinking about is uh, part out of a whole what part out of a whole so if we look at this problem what percent of 80 is three well what is the part and what is the whole well how much is three out of 80 right so three represents a part of 80. Okay, so what percent of 80 is 3? This is the part and this is the whole. So when we express it uh, this way, part out of a whole, we have a fraction. Okay, that's not a percent. Remember, we're, the question here is asking what percent. So we need to uh, express this part out of a whole as a percent. And what can we do to fix this problem up? Well, what we can do is take 3 and divide it by 80 using our calculator. Okay, or if you want to do this by hand, that's fine as well. So 3 divided by 80 gets us a decimal 0 0.0375. But again, all we did is went from a fraction to a decimal. This is still not a percent. So how do we go from a decimal to a percent? Well, you need to be able to do that. So to go from a decimal to a percent, you simply multiply by 100, which effectively is the same thing as moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So we're going to take this decimal, 0 0.0375, and we're going to scoot that decimal point two places to the right, and we get 3.75%.
that is the answer. So again, percent when it comes to practical math is one of these things that you just want to master. And there's all sorts of various type of percent problems. Maybe you're, you're taking a class right now and you're studying percent. You're going to get um, uh, a variety of percent questions um, you know, uh, uh, quite the, the questions are going to be in all sorts of different kind of formats. Okay, so this is one type of format that you might run, uh, might uh, need to know for a quiz or test. But if you need help with percent or basic math, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel about percent. Uh, two, I have a math foundations course, which is a great course for basic math for those of you that kind of need to relearn kind of um, arithmetic. Uh, of course, you can find this all at my website. And then um, the other courses I would recommend would be like pre-algebra and algebra. So wherever you're at, wherever you're studying percent, um, those are some recommendations for you. But hopefully this video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.